in our in our growing stage uh, I am very confident you know I say it about myself I'm you know pre-k or kindergarten or whatever <laughs> and that just means a lot of uh, experimentation and I'm sure trial and error and literally we actually miss it I think we have to give ourselves the possibility that we actually truly miss it but the good part is and the important part is I think is that at that stage it is important that we try and and in our trying we may let's just think about a drawing an A. Little Johnny's in pre-K and it's time to learn your letters, little Johnny. So draw a line up and a line down and then a line across. Well, teacher does that so straight. Little Johnny gets up there and that thing is just full of quivers and shaking and and it looks topsy-turvy and uh, little Johnny's making his attempts, but uh, uh, they don't look as nice as the teacher's. Does that count? Does that count? Is that worthy? Yes, it's worthy. It's mighty worthy. It's, it's hugely important that Johnny tries. So what I want to say is, yes, I think uh, experimentation, even if it doesn't end up being like we think it looked like, uh, I think it's very, very important. At the same time, I think that it's important that we actually ask if those results came through because it does help us to understand our sensory system the way we're getting input and if we spoke about something based on a certain sensing or impression but it didn't come to pass we may want to refine that I'm not saying it's wrong just refine it and uh, so at this stage of the game, I say for myself, seeing is very helpful. One of these days, you and I, or at least for me, one of these days I'll come to a place where I don't need to see and I'll still believe. Jesus said it's better for the ones who don't see and still believe. So I do know that in the growth stage, seeing is one of Father's ways of helping to bolster our faith and make us courageous and uh, make us walk on water. So I do want to encourage our group to ask uh, questions that may not have the predictable or the best answer to them, to it. In other words, for instance, uh, how about David and Genya Verley? You know, we right. prayed in and we prophesied, if I, you know, if I was you, I, I'm just me. I actually send him text and uh, inquire every once in a while. We made uh, declarations along this line, David and Genia. How's that working? I want to. I want to grow. I do not want to live in a land or a territory that is just kind of fuzzy. I want to know eventually that when I speak, what I saw and what I spoke literally came to pass. So. I want to ask tough questions so that I'm able to uh, really know what I know and know that what I say is really going to happen. At least that's where I'm heading. See, that's why I like these questions because they uh, help open doors to other possibilities. And then what we want to do is the next time we lean into it, we'll say, oh, now we have several possibilities that this impression could apply to. Lord, are you highlighting which one of these possibilities? So I think this is very constructive.